Welcome to the homestead. So, we're working on our test array. We've got a, a engineer from midnight actually on a plane going to land in Bangor here in about two hours coming out to work on some charge controllers. So we put this array in in a hurry for him to use. But it got me to thinking. One of the things that you always see is uh, the misuse of circuit breakers. In, in DC especially, it's really hard to open that circuit under a load. And it's really common, uh, one of the things I see a lot in this industry is to use the wrong voltage or the wrong you know, style of breaker. For example, using an AC breaker on DC or the wrong voltage breaker. And what happens is in, in an AC world, you know, AC power, you have a sine wave. And every time the sine wave crosses the zero cross, the center line, there's no current. And that happens 120 times a second. So when you pop that breaker open, Every time that crosses to change directions is zero current and the arc goes out Whereas in a DC breaker in a DC application, there's no sine wave. It's just always on So when you pop that breaker open the arc has to be extinguished by the breaker with magnets or whatever they use So what we, that got me to thinking I'm like, why shouldn't we try to catch something on fire today? So it wouldn't be any fun if we didn't so while we get this array laying right here what we've done is we've gone and got ourselves a breaker box and a square D home line breaker. And we're going to hook this breaker up to 460 volts and we're going to open it under load and see what happens to an AC breaker opened under load. So here we go. I've got my leather gloves on. I've got my let's break the circuit when it catches on fire. And Sue's got the camera. So I'm going to turn it on. Breaker's on. Now the array is shorted through the breaker, so it's at its 10 amps. We should we don't expect anything bad here, to be honest. This is turning it on is easy. Now when I turn it off. Now we're gonna let this burn for the name of science, but you can kind of see where if that was in your house, things would be going sideways really quick. It may or may not be contained in a breaker panel if you had a cover on the breaker panel. It smells good. And I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear that DC arcing inside that breaker. And you can see the breaker starting to turn white down bottom where it's getting ready to blow out through. I do expect eventually the wire will burn off the breaker and it'll all go out. But if it gets out of hand, I'll cut the wire and we'll uh, put the fire up. And if I was a little bit more of a clever Boy Scout, I would have actually had a 600 volt breaker in series with this so I could actually stop the arc now without cutting the wire. But it has burnt out through the breaker on the other side. Flames are shooting out the top side of the breaker, away from you. I don't hear it arcing anymore, so this may just all be breaker burning at this point. Nope, there's another arc. We got sparks now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this wire just because obviously you see this is a really bad thing. You see the sparks flying out of the side. So now this is all just burning due to. Uh, being on fire. There's no power there anymore. So you saw the sparks and everything coming out of that and uh, 
you saw that that, that was getting ready to get really bad. That would have been a lot of arcing, arcing to the chassis. So if this box is in your house and you'd use that for DC and that happened, chances are you're going to have, you know, a house fire. At the very least, you're going to have a lot of equipment burnt up and a really bad day. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put this out. We're going to put our 150 volt breaker, DC breaker, and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and stop the camera for a second. We're going to get set back up and uh, we'll bring you right back. All right, so we've installed our 150 volt DC breaker. So this is rated for DC, but it's only 150 volts. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this on, short off the array like we did the AC breaker, and then we're going to open it and see what happens. So breaker on and again we don't expect anything bad here because all we've done now is short out the array so there's 10 amps running through this breaker at zero volts well, not quite zero but zero volts and this is a 30 amp breaker so it's just going to set there now we're going to open the breaker and make it interesting hopefully Now you see that I believe what's happened is it's actually shorted the array out and extinguished its own arc because the breaker melted up internally, all melted together, and uh, just put the arc out. So if that's right, when I cut this wire, you're going to see some sparks. So that breaker actually failed in a semi-safe condition, I guess, because it shorted. It shorted the array, but now there was no way to open the circuit. So hopefully this was kind of fun, a little educational, and uh, it's something we'd want to try. We've never tried this on an AC breaker, um, and we see an awful lot of them used. So we really wanted to try it and show you the differences and, and why we tell you to do what we tell you to do. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.